Hello everyone, welcome to Venkana English Guru. Friends, in my previous video I told you, I taught you how to read a poem for UGC NET, NTA English, JL, DL, and if you really want to be a government lecturer. Okay, in my video, previous video I told you, like I told you what are the various points that are to be kept in mind when you really want to be, when you really want to succeed in competitive examinations like uh, NTA English or SET in English or JL English or DL English or PL English. What points are to be kept? I told you and these are the major important points that are to be kept when you are reading poems, when you are reading lengthy poems uh, in our English literature. So as I told you, point introduction, type taken from, published in, setting, source and narrator, tone and meter, stanza form, figurative expressions employed by the poet, images, character, characters both major and minor, pronouns and the background of writing the particular poem. And I also told you, you should remember the rhyme scheme. What is the rhyme scheme that is actually employed by the poet? What are the various rhyming words? Next, what is the beginning line of the poem, ending line of the poem, important lines of the poem you have to read and number of lines. Definitely there are bits or to nightingale or to autumn or the wasteland or or to the west wind. How many lines are there? There were plenty of bits once you refer to previous question papers. Next number of sections, number of cantos, number of stanzas. Very, 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 very important my friends. And it is addressed to, it is dedicated to and uh, title taken from stanza wise theme and broad theme and summary in as a part of this mind map. I gave you all this introduction as a part of my previous video and in this video I am going to give you one popular example and how you can make notes based on so I am taking a very wonderful lengthy poem that is composed by John Keats that is Ode to Autumn. Okay friends this is listed and it's in several examinations several competitive examinations of junior lecturer or degree lecturer or politic lecturer or and UGC night and set examination which is very important. How do you make notes based on this? So you need to be and what is the title of the poem or to autumn? Who is the poet John Keats? Narrated the poet himself. Type it's an example for oat. It's an example for a lyric. You should also know whether it is an example for regular word, irregular word or pindaric word. Very very important. So it's taken from Keats 1819 oats and composed on 19 September 1819, published in 1820. Meter, what meter has been adapted by the poet? Iambic pentameter lines. The poem is actually composed in 33 lines, 11 stanzas and, and iambic pentameter lines. And stanzas, three, 11 line stanzas, three Keatsian sonnets which you can say. Rhyme scheme, this is very important my friend. Several times this bit was asked. A, B, A, B, C, D, E and D, C, C, E. And every stanza will have different rhyme scheme you need to know. And who are the important characters of the poem? Autumn, the poet himself, the sun and the cricket and insect, bees, red breast, lambs. All these are the major characters and the only characters of the poem. And stanza was theme of the poem. This you need to know. So for stanza one talks about the description of season as plenty. Stanza to personification of autumn with a woman, how and uh, autumn is considered a, a woman. Sadness of cold and brave days ahead. Next, what is the small theme of the poem? It describes a progression through the season from the late maturation of the crops to the harvest and to the last days of autumn when winter is nearing. And that is the as a mediation and meditation on death, the feelings of customary life of nature as an allegory of and artistic creation of the poet. As Keats responds to the and Peter Lewis massacre which took place in the same year and this poem also talks about as an expression of nationalistic sentiment. And what is the beginning line of the poem? Season of mess and mellow fruitfulness. You need to remember this beginning line friends remember. And gathering swallows twitter in the sky the ending line. And you can see and the popular important lines of the poem you can and these important lines which featured several times in the history of NTA, UGC net, JL, DL examinations you need to thorough with that. Next you should also know some more and what are the important figurative expressions 
and examples for simile, example for personification, example for metaphor, example for antithesis. Next, what are the important images that are adapted by the poet? And these are also and important uh, what figurative expressions: a lamb, blades, red breast, whistles, gnats, mound, spiders, twitter, twitter, cricket, swing, sing. So all these are best example for egoism or onomatopoeia. Next, friends. And images, what are the popular images used as a part of stanza 1, stanza 2, stanza 3? This is very important. You will understand images when you know. Images will have two important meanings and standard meaning and literary meaning. Standard meaning, figurative expression. Direct meaning, indirect meaning. So when you understand, to understand direct meaning, first you need to know synonyms, meanings. Then you will indirectly understand the literary meaning of the words and the images. So these are some of the images, some of the important uh, direct or indirect meanings, my friends. You can see stanza 1 and stanza 2 and stanza 3. So like that, you should be able to read. So this is what a small model that I wanted to share with you and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on lengthy poems that are prescribed for NTA English, UGC Net English, AP set or TA set or if you really want to be a junior lecturer or degree lecturer or, or polytechnic lecturer in English, subscribe to my YouTube channel and for more videos, Venkana English Guru. Thank you friends for watching. Thank you.